How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. All right. Who are you? And uh, I'm, I'm and the system. She's upstairs. Okay. Give me mm -hmm. just a second. Mm -hmm. How you doing, ma'am? This is Miss. Uh, okay. So, she served him with the divorce paperwork, which is the paperwork over there. Okay. He's in the chair. They start discussing it. He hops up, sticks the barrel to the underside of her chin, and says, quote, I don't hit women who want to take me from my kids. You will leave here before I leave here. Let me ask you, when y'all were having this conversation, where was the weapon located? I didn't see it. The weapon, I didn't see it until he jumped up. When he jumped up, where did he pull it from? Did, was it under the bed or under the cover? Under no, nothing was under the bed. We were over by that chair. Okay. And I didn't, when he jumped up is when I saw the gun. I didn't even see him reach for it. I don't know where it came from. Okay. But he was over there. I do remember he had a pair of navy blue pants that was sitting in front of him. No, this is going on over here. And this is the work. Well, I see it. It's got to be in there. Okay. You just click this link. You're wondering who silky, smooth, melodious voice is speaking so eloquently over the body cam footage. You've now reached the Heavy Gan channel. If you're not here for the brilliant commentary, fair enough. Click the link in the description. Go over to Blue Lens. Watch it over there. Make sure you sub to those guys. It's a great channel. All that good stuff. Hit the bell on them as well. But to everybody else, you know the rules. You can say whatever you want to say over here. The only rules are taught like you got some sense to be nice. All praise to the almighty algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. As always, guys, I don't know what's going on. We're watching this together. I haven't mentioned anything about the bonnet, which is typically a red flag. Okay, but she's indoors. She's indoors, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, not, not, it's not really a trip because she's indoors, but let's see if I'm wrong, though. Come on. Has he had any idea of, of, of anything or he had a divorce? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's, it's nothing that's new to him. This isn't new. Is it's, this it's, divorce from the previous incident? Yeah. Enforcement officers were called to this home multiple times within a month, each time regarding their divorce. The situation became more confrontational with each visit. He'd be here at 3 o'clock tomorrow to sign the papers because he agreed to sign. And he said, yeah. I said, well, I got them in my email. He said, well, print them out. I went downstairs to get the print. <clears throat> And I printed them out. I gave him everything. We argued back and forth about what's in there. I told him I don't want anything from him. Everything that's financed in my name, including the debt, I'll take it all. You take everything with your name. I'm done. That sounds fair. Let's see if that's true. Come on. That wasn't good enough. We kept arguing back and forth. And then he said, why did you hit me? That's assault. Like, out of the blue. Yeah. And I said, I didn't touch you. He said, you just, you just flipped me over in chair. I said... Yeah, right. I did. I did flip you over and check. Maybe he baited me into it, whatever, but that's what I said. We argued, a lot of curse words, back and forth, and then he jumps up and said, put the gun right here. Which, do you mind looking up real quick? So, look, can you look up higher? So there's that mark right there, and right there. Have you already taken any pictures? I got out on body camera, because I didn't have my phone on me at the time. Okay, you have it on you now? Yeah. You gotta only go and snap a few of those. I know they'll show it better than this camera. Right, have you had any kind of conversation with him again? No, when Burns been speaking with him. Are you injured or anything? You need EMS? I mean, have, have you guys ever heard of a woman saying that a man had pulled a gun on her? I've heard that before. I've heard that before. Um, and in some cases, it's like, wow, you know, that's that's crazy that, that somebody would be so mad to pull a gun on their wife or their girlfriend. But then the other side is like, yo, and I'm not trying to make light of this, but it's like, yo, a man had to pull a gun on you because you would not shut the fuck up. And in some cases, the bitches keep talking. A man pulled a gun... A, People kill people with guns, and you were still talking. That's what I'm thinking. Like, God damn, that's a red flag. A man had to pull a gun on you? What the fuck you was doing to get a gun pulled on you? Come on. Hey, and maybe she's right, though. Maybe he's just a maniac. We're watching this together. Come on. Okay. 
That was him bumping. That was my sergeant bumping into something. Yeah. If you need to text your dad, hey, I'm okay now. I talked to him. You did? Yeah, he called like 5,000 times, but I told him, I'm okay. The police are here. And he was like, where are you? I'm still upstairs because I can't go downstairs. I know better than that. I just, considering what you yelled while your dad was on the phone, I wanted you to let him know you're okay. He really, and my mom, are you okay? I'm okay. She's really upset. I made a horrible mistake by asking him to help us move in here. That's what escalated that stuff the last incident. I went out of town. I remember. He brought his stuff in here. You went up to uh, Myrtle Beach? Hill man. And I keep falling for the trap. I just, why would you want to be here and torment me? Well, you're not falling for it anymore because you got the paperwork right yeah. over there. And that's, yeah. Now, um, with everything that's going on, you do, do you two have any kids? No. Oh. Makes it a heck of a lot easier. It sure does. It sure does. If y'all ain't got no kids, then what's going on here? It's easier to leave. It is easier to leave. It's easier to go. For men and women, it's easier to go. I'm okay with no-fault divorce. A lot of men complain about no-fault divorce and how it's messing up marriage and all that. I don't give a fuck about all that. I always want it to be easy for a bitch to leave me. You hear that? <laughs> I always want it to be easy for a bitch to leave me. Please, let's make it as easy as possible for you to get the fuck up out of here. Come on. Get a restraining order for when it's done and over with. My dad told me, yeah. He said, that's enough. Because he said, even with him, even if he had no intentions, it could have went off and you could have been gone. Uh-huh. After a few minutes of questioning by field officers, a detective would soon arrive to get to the bottom of what really happened. Uh oh. Knock, knock. Hello. How are you, ma'am? It's a nice room. Oh. Nice and spacious. The stairs give a little workout. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you're good. Yeah. Um, tell me what's going on this evening. Um, I got to see how this officer looked the way she breathing. <laughs> this I, officer brisket. <laughs> gave my husband some divorce papers. Okay. Um, as soon as I got the email, I asked him, could he be here tomorrow at 3 o'clock? And we both signed him. He said, that's fine. As soon as you get him, I'll sign him. I said, well, I have him in the email. I'll print him. I went downstairs to get that print. Mm -hmm. And I printed him. I gave him to him. And we just started the arguing from there. So was he here already when you yeah. told him? Okay. Yeah. It was, it was, what, 11 something? I don't know, maybe after 12, I don't know. Okay. But I came to bed. Okay. Um, we, we, we were arguing. No nice words. Okay. Um, called his dad, asked him to come get in his house. That didn't work. Um, we, we just kept going back and forth, and um, he called my dad. We were still arguing, and he said something to the fact, um, I put, he said, don't put your hands on me or something. I said, I didn't touch you. And we just arguing back and forth, ugly words. And okay, so it's certainly shit that she's leaving out. I can already tell the way she's explaining it, there's shit she's leaving out. Secondly, what the fuck are you calling her daddy for? That's weird. You know what I'm saying? You keep your parents out your business, y'all. Come on. And he said, that's assault. And then next day, I know he jumped up. He said, I pushed him over in a chair. I said, yeah, right, yeah, I pushed you. Yeah, that's right, sure did. And we just kept going back and forth arguing. Then next Cause she put her hands on him is what it sounded like to me. Come on. I know he jumped up and he put a gun to my chin and he said, he, he said, you trying to take me away from my kids. You'll leave here before I leave. I yelled and I screamed. He got a gun. My dad was still on the phone. I ran in my son's room and woke my son up and told him to call the police. I grabbed the phone and I called now. And I stayed in that room. 
so so they don't have kids together but she got kids by another man and you doing all this arguing back and forth you have given this woman a wedding ring and she got another man kid in there and still won't listen <laughs> and still won't listen see how far that gets you playing stepdaddy fellas see how far that gets you come on until somebody got here he was in here being real irate yelling and screaming. I think he was still on the phone with my dad. I don't know. Um, and I yelled for my sister. Okay. Now, where was your sister at when all this was going on? Uh, she was in her bed. Okay. Where's her bed at compared to here? This man has opened his his home, from what we, what we know right now, to her, her sister, and her son by somebody else. <laughs> See how far it's gotten him. Come on. Um, it's the room right under us, but you have to go downstairs and go to the opposite end of the hall. Okay, gotcha. Everybody was asleep. I'm just tired of the arguing back and forth. I just want some peace. Um, so basically, you told him you had the divorce paperwork and that, you know, you wanted to meet with him. Oh, yeah. This coming evening. Well, just a whole nother day, yeah. Yeah. So, my plan was we both at 3 o'clock, we get the papers, and we go to the cooler courthouse to get them to notarize. Because I was told that if we both are in agreement, we can sign off, mm -hmm. and I will have to present them to the court. Okay. Everything is in the paperwork. Okay. And I thought I was doing everything right. You everything. shouldn't have to do all this, man, to, do, you know, to get rid of somebody that y'all ain't got kids together. It should be relatively easy. Ain't fair. I just want some peace. Okay. And so, needless to say, he said, well, as soon as you have him, I'll sign him. Yeah. Okay. So, and he wasn't, he wasn't mean or yelling, so I thought it was, okay. Okay. So, I gave him to him. Wrong. Okay. And so, um, at that point, y'all start arguing, some names are called? Oh, yeah. Okay. Those what kind of names were called? So bad. Um... I'm a bitch, I'm a whore, I'm a big second whore. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm with your fat ass, stank pussy bitch. Oh, wow. Oh. And I call him, he just stank pussy well. You, you, it was just ugly. Ugly words. Fuck you, get the fuck out of my house. Why are you still here? If I'm all of this, you need to get the fuck out, you need to leave. Why are you still here? Making me go through this. Why are you tormenting me? If you don't want to be here, just go. I'm not going anywhere. It's just back and forth. Okay. Well, whose house is it? Is it his house or is it her house? Who pays for that motherfucking house? Should be easy for us to figure that part out. Come on. It was degrading names on both of our parts. Gotcha. I'm not totally innocent in words. Yeah. That's the only way I have to defend myself. Of course you're not. Okay. Sure it is. I still think, and again, guys, I could be wrong. I still think she put her hands on him. Come on. He said you were on the phone to begin with with his father? I called his dad. Okay. What's his dad's name? Anthony Carrington. Uh, she call called his dad. Well, what? Let's stop involving the parents, man. Y'all got to handle y'all own shit. Call him because he's the dad. He's supposed to help. And he just said, you deal with it. I hung up in my face. Yep. Okay. I, I heard that. That sounds about right, don't it? You deal with it. Shit, I ain't married to him. You you figure it out. Come on. I said, your dad doesn't even care. And I heard him tell my dad that he had the gun in his hand. I heard him tell him that. <laughs> He don't hit women. He does. He did have the gun. Okay. And I just feel like this crap is escalating. Like it gets worse and worse. And other times I should have called and I did. I should have. I should have did something. I didn't. And I'm just tired when he put that gun to my chin. That gun could have gone off. Even if he had no intentions of hurting me, it could have went off. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm just 
said that at that point, when all of that occurred, you went into your son's room? Yeah, I did. And so at that point, you had him call for police? Yeah, he was, oh, he was cross, a little half sleep, and I just grabbed the phone. He had my phone in there for the other um, to get up for school. And I just grabbed the phone and I called. He heard me. I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on because he was asleep. Did you by chance get scratched or anything like that? From this? Well, they said I bruised, but I didn't. I saw the red mark really sore. Gotcha. So that's right underneath the chin. That's. So there's Mark there. The original photo I showed you is right there. Yeah. And then, uh, full. And for me, okay? Okay, now, <clears throat> when you put that gun to your um, chin, how did it make you feel? I was scared because, I mean, it's a gun. Yeah. It's a gun. I don't know if he's going to kill me, he said. You know, I was trying to take him away from his kid, but I'll leave here before he does. Yeah. And it sounds like a silly question. It's just one we have to ask. I know. I know, but, you know, he... I just I just told the officer they were just here maybe a month or so ago. I don't know. It's just I feel like it's escalating. Mm -hmm. I just finally came back to my bed two nights ago. I've been sleeping in the den. Okay. So I don't know what else to do to avoid somebody hurting me. I know it just seems like she's bullshitting. Oh shit! Do you believe her? No. I don't. That's what I'm going to say, y'all, in the comments, man. I could fucking be wrong, and maybe this dude is on some other shit. But nah, man. It just seems like she's... Nah. Let me know if you think I'm wrong in the comments. Come on. I'm not supposed to argue back and forth, but... It's hard not to argue back and forth when somebody's constantly saying stuff to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Are you there? What's your name, love? She look like Wyclef and shit, don't he? Come on. Tell me what's going on this evening. This is what happened. Shit, she called 911. Come on. And my wife would be going through it. If I could start from the beginning, I could start from the beginning. I didn't put the team involved in this. And it was on my part because my wife Hold on, hold on. And I was on your part. I ain't asleep with my best friend. Okay. I slept with my best friend. A child was involved. Although she had a boyfriend. Telling everybody when I guess when she found herself pregnant, telling everybody the child wasn't mine. We didn't want to believe that. Holy shit. Wyclef just, just went ahead and hit us with a bunch of bullshit, didn't he? See how Wyclef hit us with a bunch of bullshit this bitch has been on. Here, let me rewind it back. See, Wyclef done fucked up. Why is the bitch even still in your house, man? Here, let me run it back. Let me run it back some. Let me run it back some. We watching this together, y'all. Come on. Wife we've been going through it. If I could start from the beginning, I could start from the beginning. Had infidelity involved in this, and it was on my part because my wife was partner, and I was sure partner. I kind of sleep with my best friend. Okay. Except my best friend, a child was involved. Although she had a boyfriend, I was telling everybody when I guess when she found herself pregnant, telling everybody the child wasn't mine. We didn't want to believe that, so we let this drag on for about four or five years. Okay. Although she wanted, she wanted proof. So, just so happened, my detective came to the house. And when he came to the house, that was the last straw. I said, you know what, let me take my happy tail down. And I went down to the courthouse, and I got myself swabbed. Come back, child is not mine. Mm. Okay. So, after that, it got worse, because I have proof now that the child is not mine. Why the fuck would, why wouldn't it get worse? You still with the bitch, and the baby's not yours. And, and first off, let's go ahead and address the other, because I know there's going to be women in the comments saying, well, he said he cheated too. It ain't even the same. It ain't even the same. A man can cheat with a with a with a homeless girl behind a dumpster. When a woman cheats with a man, she likes that man. It ain't even the same. Okay? But why the fuck wouldn't it get worse? Of course it's gonna get worse, nigga. The baby not yours. Man, come on. What happened? Her friend, how she was finding out, my best friend was talking all type of smacking because my best friend literally knows her first cousin. Okay. So that's how they kept 
and she said, they kept going back and forth. And she said, in today's, like this present time, she still keep hearing about it, still keep hearing about it. So we started bickering, started arguing. She got over it, it was fine for a good little while. Then just going back up again, talking about the same thing again. So then we started talking about divorce and started talking about separation and stuff like that. Okay. So tonight, I'm gonna speed it up. Tonight, no, it's that last night. Came in last night. And didn't tell her nothing. Was talking about the boat. Because I was cleaning up the boat and stuff like that. She said no, they wanted to go out and the, before I was cleaning up the boat, they wanted to go out on the water. I said, all right, cool. It's not that they wanted to go on the water, they wanted to know where the boat was at. So she could give it to her daddy. Because all that stuff, and she, all she's talking about, well, whatever stuff she have with a, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. A loan or whatever is hers, it's not so. So I guess the daddy have the boat and I just played and he just, tonight I asked about it, I said, listen, um, Where's the boat? She said, oh, Daddy got it. And um, I said, well, I have a $300 charger inside there. And when I said that, she said, well, this is about, about my um, prescription cost $900, and this like that. And, well, I got the papers right now. We could go out and, you know, to go out and um, run my divorce and stuff like that. Why the hell are you holding on? You need to get the fuck out of my house and stuff. Excuse the French. Well, no, you're fine. You need to get the fuck out of my house. I said, listen, I want this divorce just like how you want this divorce. I'm not holding on to a damn thing. I don't know why you want people to believe that I'm holding on to something. So it's her house. Come on. You would have what man to have outside here? You telling me that your baby daddy wants you. He been back and forth in my house. That's what you're telling me. He been back and forth in my house. He saw my car. He paid for your rims. I washed in a truck out here the other day. You telling me I should be washing your truck? I say if he bought them for him, he should be washing that car. Yeah. That's what I said. Ooh, what the fuck does she do? What does she do, y'all? Huh? What did you just wife up, sir? Come on. No. Well. Nobody will believe she get out of character like that. Nobody will believe that stuff, right? Okay. Because she ain't that type. My wife is very intelligent, okay. right? I don't so, think intelligence is the issue. It's something else. Come on. What I did when she cut my phone off, my mama turned the cell phone on for me. So what I did. Let me go ahead and pause that right there. God damn, you don't want to be with the woman that can turn your fucking cell phone off. Sir, why, did, why can your woman turn your cell phone off? How can a bitch turn your cell phone off? See, the consequences of living up under a bitch. And she may make more money, obviously, if that's her crib and all that good shit, man, things are the way they are, whatever. But you are still or should still be a motherfucking man. It don't matter what that bitch make. Turns your fucking phone off. Nigga gets pregnant by some other nigga. It's not your baby. And you still over here talking to the bitch, talking about, oh, oh, it, it got worse. Nigga, you goddamn right it got worse. You better get the fuck up out that house for you kill her. Niggas will stay around the bitch until they ready to kill her. Get the fuck out of there, man. Get, get out of there. And it is your fault that you are with a bitch that, that, that's just going, that you are the type of nigga. They can get your phone turned off by a bitch. The fuck? Okay, there's there's nothing play. Okay, you may think it's player because your bitch makes so much more money, nigga, but if she's running you, what the fuck is it for? If you still can't be a man, what the fuck is it for? If you still can't walk with your with a fucking spine and be the man of the motherfucking house, I don't care if you make two dollars, nigga. I don't care if you just got fired. I don't care if you're unemployed. I don't care about none of that shit. You should still be the same fucking man. You should be bringing more to that house than money. You should be bringing more to that house than money. Come on. Put record and I had it sitting down here. So all that time is bickering upstairs. I had the phone recording. She's talking about she people hurt me. She had, she had people take niggas off. She, she been keeping people away from me. She about to find me. They killed dead somewhere. And all this time, pushing me in my head. Hit me in my head. Pushing me in my head. Nobody wow, and I believe that too. And she's mushing him. Mushing him in his motherfucking head talking like this, dog. Come on. I believe she do that. When I stand up, I'm in the face. But every time I sit down, I sit down just like this. 
she come to my face, she hand me the papers, politely, she hand me the papers, or reading the papers. I say, well, the papers are jamming. All I need to do is get somebody to review it. Yeah. And um, I'll sign wherever. Well, I just need somebody to review it. Because I ain't a lawyer. I don't know what the hell I sign it for. Yeah. My wife friend, I said, no, not Carter. That girl, like what she do. She will help my wife bend the law in any which way she could. Of course. That's a fact. That's I her sister. That See, I, I was wrong early. I figured it was his money and all that other shit. No, 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 no. It's her house. Her sister lived there. And her kid by another nigga lived there. And you live there with them. That's the dynamic, nigga. It ain't the other way around. Come on. I know it could be done. Nobody can go tell me no different. So I told her, I need to have a professional look at this. Now, why the hell I said that? It escalated from them real bad. Now, why is that idiot? I didn't know how to read and stuff like that. I can't just sign the papers. Now, I'm holding on. Why would I holding on? I ain't holding on to nothing. I just don't want to be an idiot and sign nothing. I'm not no lawyer. I have kids just like how she have kids. Her thing is she's studying a house, all this glamour and stuff like that. She started, I'm not studying that. I study in a quiet life, comfortable life. That's how I is. I dress like this every single day. I work on Indians. That's what I do. Right? So it's pretty much we arguing. You kept putting me in my face, hitting me in my face. Now, all this time, I always keep a firearm on me. Yeah. I have my gun in my back. Mm. You grab the chair, flip the chair over. My eye on my back, gun on the ground. Crazy shit. I took the gun. I got up. I said, I assaulted him. You know that, right? She was like, Fuck that shit, I said, all right. I told you she put hands on that man. Now, what do the scriptures tell you? What is what does the scripture tell you, man? Proverbs 21 and 9, what does it say? It is better to live in a corner of the roof than in a house with a quarrelsome wife. It is better that this man be homeless. Than, that's what the Bible's telling you. It is better for you to be homeless than live with a bitch like this. It is better for you to be homeless than live with a bitch that won't listen. It is better for you to live on the corner of the roof of your house than it is to sit up under a bitch like this. Come on. I said, that is, that's called an assault. She don't care nothing about that. I got up, flipped the chair back over. That's my motherfucking chair. I flipped the chair back over. I stick the gun below my seat, my leg, and I stick it right here. And I sat right here. So the whole time bickering back and forth. All this time I sitting down, me talking in my face, coming back, going forward in my face, going back, going forward in my face. And while you're walking off you. See, you wow. Up, I believe that. Hit my woman. I say the biggest thing they go find out is that they go be doing the you want to size up to a man and there's no comparison. If I start hitting you, I ain't gonna stop. Right? Yeah. People, all they go see is a man hitting a woman. That's, That's all right. people go see. I ain't no fool. I'm not no idiot. I don't hit woman. I hit a man. If a man hit me, I'll hit him back. If a woman hit me intentionally, hit me, hit me, I will hit her back. That's a fact. Right? But I don't hit no woman to say that oh, I, I have no abusive man. I don't do no shit like that. I run from stuff like that. Yeah. Right? It's too easy. Boy, you better run from this bitch. What's it going to take? What's it going to take, Brother Wyclef? What's it going to take? Okay, the woman, okay, the woman's turning your phone off. The woman's mushing you in the fucking face. She's getting pregnant by other niggas. She's emasculating you on a daily basis. What's it going to take? What's it going to take? You over there dealing with a bitch with a pushback hairline. What's it going to take, brother? You, you, you work 12 hours a day to come home to a big bitch. What's it going to take? What's it going to take to change your life, man? Come on. Easy to run and go find another woman. That's it. Real easy in this country. Yes. Right. If it's that easy, why cleft? Then go do it. You ain't got no kids with the bitch. You ain't got nothing tying you to the bitch. You should have been gone. You should have been gone. But you've been putting up with shit for so long. You know what I'm saying? What's keeping you there, brother? But when she do that, I guess you know this. I was recorded. You didn't care nothing about that. You, you brought the better papers over. You're saying that all is a mistake in the affidavit. I guess for the property. So they wanted to get corrected and hand it back to me. So when you hand it back to me, they escalated from them. We started, we started arguing, and then you come up my face again, and you start cussing, carrying on. And this time, you went up my face and pushed me on my lip. So when I stand up, we arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's why, that's why his daddy hung up in her motherfucking face. He know the bitch ain't shit. He know the bitch ain't shit. He been heard from his son that the bitch ain't bitch ain't shit, and he been told he been told his son, you better leave her, you better get the fuck up out of there, and he ain't listening. That's why daddy just hung up. That's what daddy should have did too. Come on. And you breeze off, you sit down and talk about hit you. This hit you, that's a little bit and stuff like that. So I sit my happy tail down. Right? So that time, call her daddy on the phone. When I call her daddy, she called my parents first, calling my dad on the phone. So I called my dad back and I said, You just got a call? 
and I explained to him what happened. I told him I had a recording and everything was happening. And while she was there, she was, she was saying that oh, I was hitting her and, I, and she was in fear for her life. Going on. They'll mm. never hear me say nothing bad. She called my mama a fat hoe and all type of stuff like that. Wow. They'll never hear me say one thing bad about her parents. Mm. Never do it. So, in the midst of that now, when you are doing back and forth this time, you come and you knock me upside my head. When I get back, I grab the gun, I push her back like this. Mm. When I push her back, you go and carry on. No, I got you, and you dial in 911, and you go and look back, talking about I point the gun at you and all type of stuff. Like I don't point no gun. I own firearms. I have a lot of firearms. I know not to brandish a gun at anybody, mm. right? You brandish a gun, purposely brandish a gun, your ass going to jail. That's all to it, mm -hmm. right? You can't, you're not supposed to do it. Pistol. Barrel was like that. The stock was like this. When I grab it, I was like, I push her back like this. Yeah. I stand up. She gone dialing 911 and she went back in the back talking, calling her dad and calling whoever. That's why her son come up here belligerent, talking about he want to fight. I pull a pistol on him, mama. Why I'm pulling her son? Right. So she went. So she's talking this shit to her teenage son or her son in his early twenties or whatever the fuck, and, and and gonna have him fight her new man. What did I tell you about these women, dog? What I and but see, here's the thing. What's it going to take for you? You see how she is. You see what you've been going through. Okay, the woman done had a baby by somebody else. Okay, uh, the woman's emasculating you. She's turning your phone off. She's mushing you in the motherfucking face. And she's trying to put the law on you by lying. And you ain't got no kids with her. What the fuck is it going to take? Her pussy, whatever it is, it ain't that good. I promise you, it's not that good. I promise you, it's not that good. Come on. I'm just telling your mama, boy, I ain't that type of person. Right? I ain't that type of person. I ain't no, I ain't no idiot. I think before you go, I think I go force somebody to make that decision to, for me, to put me away for the rest of my life. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I would not even let a person like that do that to me. Right? I have two children. A 20-year-old and an 18-year-old now. A little girl. You've got a 20-year-old and an 18-year-old. Would they want to know? that daddy is getting mushed in the fucking face, getting his phone cut off by a big bitch with a bonnet. I guess I was wrong about that bonnet. Oh, yeah, like I said, red flag. <laughs> I knew we was going to find out because I believe this dude's story. I believe his story. Come on. Right. Why would I let her take her away from my children? That's who I love. My children don't live with me. You know why they don't live with me? Because they don't mess with her like that. Right? There you go. So your kids can't live there with her. Y'all can't live there as a family, and you chose to live with this big bitch. Come on. Mama helped me raise them. I the only mama they know. Right? Mm -hmm. I took them away from their mama when they was babies. That's what I did. Because their mama never helped me raise them. They do nothing for them. Yeah. So I could have provided a better life. My parents could have provided a better life. So I had them with me. When we moved here, even at the other house, they never moved. Because I was uncomfortable. It was always one-sided. Mm -hmm. When you're telling me that oh, you have this man and that man in the house, how am I supposed to feel? you telling me come, you want me to come in the house? you telling me I have no say-so? Why would I come in the house and pay bills and I have no say-so in here? A hundred percent. If you ain't got no say-so, what the fuck is you doing there? Yeah. Right, you literally believe. Now, mind you, I your sister there and there. You do anything for your sister. We move in a brand new house. We move your sister, your sister move in the house. You tell me to shut my mother, I have no say-so. Then you're tell, telling me that, oh, I need to pay. What, you're telling me how much your mortgage is. $2,000. The very next day, you're telling me you want two. The very next day, we move in the house. You're telling me you need $2,000 to pay the mortgage on the house. I told her she must be mad. If she think I did, she didn't. What a fool. I ain't no fool. I might talk I might talk kind of crazy, but I ain't crazy. Yeah. She always think I bipolar. I ain't bipolar. Let me tell you exactly what I do. When my wife likes to send me scrolls of Texas, I don't read. Anytime it starts off negative, I don't never read it. Never read it. I put it to the side and I walk back in the room. I just swear up and down, I'm crazy. But my attitude will be the same because I don't never read the negative stuff. So she'll think I'm crazy. What's wrong with me? Why I acting like that? She just cussed me out on a text. And how I acting like, hey, you want to go get some D? Hey, what are you doing? And I'm laughing and stuff like that. She couldn't figure it out for years. She couldn't figure it out. But that's what I did. Couldn't figure it out for years. And you think you tricked her and you've been living up under this bitch, yelling at you, pushing you in the motherfucking face, sending you scrolls of text messages, cussing and mad and being negative and emasculating you, lying to you on the law. And you, you, think, that you think that you tricked her? She's made your life a living hell. Your children can't even live with you behind that bitch. And you living up under the bitch. Now tell me again that he don't deserve this fucking situation, y'all. Come on. And that's what I've been doing, right? 
Why is she thinking that I'm holding on? I don't want to hold on. I just want to make sure that everything right in them papers, because everything is black and white at the end of the day. Yes. I need to make sure everything right in them papers before I sign anything. I'll be glad to sign the papers right now if one of y'all look at them papers and say, hey, Jason, boy, I think you're that's gonna... not That's not what the police do. They're not there to look over your divorce papers and make sure everything's okay. That's what a fucking lawyer's for. But if you ain't got no kids with her and you don't need nothing with her and you're not trying to stay together and you're not trying to... I mean, what the fuck's the problem? Nigga, sign the motherfucking papers. Get the fuck on with your life. Unless you're still trying to hold on to the bitch. Unless you're still trying to get something out the bitch. Unless you're st you've got some other a motive or fucking reason. You ain't got no kids with her. Nigga, if you're, if you're done, be done. If she gave you them papers, nigga, I'd have signed them right then and been up out of there. Come on. Good deal here, boy. You watch me sign that paper so damn far. I jump in my truck. I get the fuck out of here. I don't want nothing here. I don't want nothing I could build. These things I have right here, they're, they're marvelous. You see this brain right there? I have It's marvelous. She know that. Yeah. She know that. I'm very intelligent. I'm very simple. Simple person. Right? Then simplify this fucking situation. Sign the papers. Get the fuck up out of there. You don't deal with her no more. You don't. She's a memory at that point. OK, you can be as intelligent as I don't know what. If you if you don't know how to apply your intelligence, it doesn't fucking matter how smart you are. Come on. And I could do for myself. I would not do for a woman that only care about herself. I heard that. On my birthday, you watch a man tell me three, four birthdays pass by. You give me anything for my birthday? Nothing. So I'll let you see what it feel like to get nothing for your birthday. No, you're telling me on the anniversary was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Why would we have an anniversary? Why would I even buy something for a person that we get and tell you? Them papers been drawn up now. But we started an argument over not getting nothing for anniversary. Yeah. Right? So why? 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 That ain't make no sense. I said, we can't have divorce. We were worrying about anniversary for. Let me get this paperwork done. Go with separate ways. You could be with whoever. You're telling me this was your baby daddy. don't care. You could have me killed and all type of stuff like that. The baby daddy been in the house and he don't care nothing about me. I don't care nothing about that. You got belligerent when I tell you to call him my cat, my call him my children a bastard. All I did was correct you for what a bastard is. Yeah. A bastard is a man having a, a woman and a man having a child with a married fucking man. And that's what the fuck you did. Mm. A child with a married man. Mm. My children was conceived. Me and the children mother was together and was living. He keeps pointing. It's like, yo, does this does this married man live across the street? God damn. That's a reckless bitch if she's fucking a nigga across the street. Come on. Been together at that time. Yeah. When my boat, my children was conceived. They ain't no bastard. Right? Mm. You got belligerent because I corrected it. Mm. Right? Is the truth. Truth that's hurt like hell. Lord knows that's hurt like hell. I just try not to hurt her. I try not to tell her anything to hurt her feelings because I know how much people hate her ass. <laughs> she had this thing about her where people love her, right? Mm -hmm. And the same people that love her is the ones that hate the hell out of her, right? So the recording you have, do you mind if I listen to it? Yeah. Here we go. Let's not bring race into this. <laughs> Yeah. 
that. What the fuck? You can say what the fuck you want. You want ain't nobody here. Nobody here. Ain't nobody care what you should say. Why you mad? You mad? No, nope, I ain't mad. mad. Divorce no, my mad. boy's fat ass. Not mad. Divorce my raggedy ass. You can say you think you say you get fifteen, fifteen hundred and dick. Dad, I don't give a damn. Yeah, they just fucking from now to next year. I don't care. Mm. You heard me? Goddamn, you from old shit for a bitch. Hey, quick, where's Dr. Umar? We got another queen that needs to be protected. <laughs> That's what the hell should happen. And I also want to just explain, man, you're out, you're out. She said, well, I can just go get me some more niggas and all this other shit. And she's in a marriage with this man for lack of however I want to criticize it. It is their marriage. Now, she, this is the thing that women do is like you get things confused. You get it confused that you have more options than you actually have, right? This woman has one husband, okay? That man right there. That's her one husband, okay? Now, uh, some women get two and multiple husbands, three, four multiple husbands, but some women... Uh, after the one husband they mistreat and one husband that they lose, they don't get other ones. They don't get more. There's there's no guarantee that you're going to get more. Now, women get confused by that because, whoa, what does their inbox say? Inbox has a whole bunch of different guys, a whole bunch of different dick pics. If they're on dating websites, they got all these different guys that they can pick from to have sex with. Sex with. Relationship op relationship options are not the same as sexual options. <laughs> You've got the same sexual options that a homeless girl has, ma'am. Okay? Any woman that has a vagina can go out here and have sex with whoever she wants. That doesn't mean that you can just go get you another husband. Come on. Anything. That's what that means. It's resolved. We agree to go about our separate ways. Anything is fine. Anything Okay. I'm taking all the hits. You damn right. My whole ass taking all the hits. He don't want to leave. This man, this is this is to his own doing. He don't want to get the fuck up out of there. He's looking for ways to, or he hasn't fully transitioned out the relationship yet. You know what I mean? So he's looking for ways to hold on. What's it gonna take, sir? What's it gonna take? What did you take? Because you ain't paying off none of these fucking credit cards. You ain't paying for none of this shit. You ain't paying the FBA loan back for my business. None of that shit. Oh, shit. The FBA loan. You ain't paying none of that shit. Mm -hmm. Because you're not getting your money back. Mm -hmm. Well, I sure had to stop one. Yeah. I sure had to stop one. Because your ass ain't giving me no goddamn money to pay for these tags and shit. I sat there and cried and told you when I was transferring them tags over from that boy named into my What's it going to take, brother? Okay. Doesn't matter. Let me call your mama to come get you. For your ass die tonight. You ain't going to do that. Oh, shit. No, I'm not going to do it. No, you ain't going to call my mama. You ain't going to call my mama. No bullshit, dude. You, we like to be calling people parents with some fucking bullshit. Nigga, what you need to do is go out and call your daddy if you want to call somebody. <laughs> this girl is lying. No, she's saying that, though. I put, his hand, I put my hands on her, and she calling. I guess her dad on the phone. Saying I put my hands on her. How many black men have lost their lives behind a black woman saying they did something when they didn't? Come on. The Lord for recording. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. You can just walk out the room. <laughs> I want him out. He can deal with, he can deal with the police. Call the police. Call, my dad. Call 911. That's what you do. <laughs> Say that's a shame. Call 911. Your daddy said that's a shame. Your own daddy said that's a shame. I'm sorry, you got to deal with that. Your daddy. Daddy don't want to deal with that shit? Your own daddy. Ain't never want to get involved and talk to your ass. That's why we in a situation. You ain't got no support. Can you do me a favor and um, send those to me? I don't know how to do that. Um, so, it's good he recorded that. 
that it's way. A good thing his mom turned that phone back on so he could get that shit recorded. Come on. Future. <laughs> Um, give me just a minute, Mr. Karen. Can I? The detective has a couple more questions. Do you mind coming out and speaking with her real quick? This is a very nice house. Uh, Y'all nigging up the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Anything in a second, man. So you asked about the charges. It's going to be one count of simple assault, DVA, and one count of simple battery, DVA. Mm. Going off the audio. Look at this big motherfucker, right? I'm trying to tell you, man. Hey, oh boy, Brother Wyclef needs to be sternly rebuked for his simping. How we determine that had she not done what she did, he would not have done what he did. Because you could hear what she stated. You could hear what what was being done. You know your sister. So You know your unfortunately, sister. Unfortunately with what she did, that resulted in him. I know it and here's the one thing domestics are I know. I know you guys are going off of you know, what you heard and stuff, but this is just like a history, we know it. And I know the last time he did the same thing to me, and I heard he was just goading her on the alternate bitches, and then he started recording. So I said, Vicky, just hush, and she had, she left, and I came and got her. Me you you living in a house and got to argue with big bitches. Getting disrespected by big bitches, man. Getting the police called on you by big bitches. You should be goddamn shit. You need to be sternly rebuked for this. Come on. Yeah, we all came to that point. The suspect was taken into custody, and according to the police, she appeared to be the aggressor in the situation. But let me know what you think. Write a comment below. I wonder what she got, man. I wish we had more information on what she got, but goddamn, fellas, like shit. This is a male centered channel because I am a man and have a man's point of view. But God damn, nigga, don't just sit up there and get disrespected by a big bitch or by any woman. You know what I'm saying? And, and women, you shouldn't live in a be in a relationship that you're being disrespected either. Um, but God damn, fellas, you ever said a bitch done had a baby on you? God damn, she's mushing you. She's turning your phone off. She's lying on the because she keep calling the police on you and you're going to keep staying with her. Just sign them fucking papers and get out of there, bro. I'll oh, praise you with all my algorithm, like, share, subscribe. Remember, you can say whatever you want to say over here. The only rules are talk like you got some sense and be nice. We're on our way to one milli, baby. Let's get it. Peace.